What is going on everyone? Today we have a very special four part mini series on pharmacy informatics. And the footage you're about to watch is actually compiled from both the 2017 and 2018 ASHP mid-year from various informatics pharmacists. And we're gonna talk about four important topics today, uh, or at least four questions that are often asked. The first question is, what is the job market like for informatics pharmacists? The second is, what do you look for when hiring an informatics pharmacist? The third is, is a PGY2 in pharmacy informatics required? And number four, what tip or advice can you offer to students looking to pursue a career in pharmacy informatics? Now, before the footage rolls, I want to say a big, big thank you to everyone that participated in this video. And with that, I hope you all enjoy the video. I think my advice to a, a new uh, pharmacist interested in informatics is to get a better understanding of the market and all the different opportunities out there. The more experience and opportunities that you have, the more likely we are to want to hire you. Uh, you know, some of the things I would say, if you have an interest in informatics as a student, first and foremost, try to even, even volunteer over the summer or get a rotation or contact somebody and do some shadowing with informatics. Make sure that you really like it because it's, it's a field that you know you want to get into and it takes a lot of years to really build up your practice and if you aren't enjoying it or you don't think you'll understand what it is or you're just interested in it because you like computer science, it may not be a great fit. You want to make sure that you understand what the day-to-day -day looks like and maybe you want to work in health startups. Maybe you want to go a different direction with your pharmacy degree when you get out and getting out there and doing some chat will give you that experience. And then if you want to get into the field, look at residency programs. That's a great, great way to do it. Or look at hospitals that are going to convert work clinically, you know, build up your skills there, then make a transition later in your career. There's many ways to do it. Um, but you start with Pharmacy for Medics Essentials or something like that through ASHP. It's a great way to get some of the content. Then you can uh, move into other programs. Maybe you want to do a master's, you want to do more research informatics. You know, there's a lot of opportunity to get into the field. I guess the, the easiest way to get involved is getting involved with the ASHP section of Pharmacy, Informatics and Technology, getting to network with other informaticists, pharmacists, get to know from the experience, how did they got in that market, and how, what, you're, what, what other people are looking for. The networking is really important, you get the experience from the people, you have, you're getting your pharmacy training from the school, so you'll be able to combine those two to get into the field and to, to know where to go and how to navigate from there. A student looking to get into informatics is at a great time. What they should do is find a mentor that's already in informatics. And with that mentor, either get some experience working on a project or pursue through one of the organizations some type of certificate type of training. That, that mentor would be so useful. They, they need a mentor that's already in the field because in, pharmacy informatics is still in its infancy and having somebody to help guide them would be their, their best uh, interest. The, the biggest thing that I would suggest is um, ask to participate in any project you can. That's often going to be after hours. You may not get paid for it, and um, sometimes it can be pretty frustrating, but uh, if you show that willingness to um, step up to projects, you're going to get experience, and then you're going to show that you have a desire to make things better at your hospital or your health system. So um, volunteer as much as possible, and even if that's volunteering to you know possibly move to locations that may not be um, as desirable, I think that opens up a lot of um, opportunities down the road. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time guys.